Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I went thrifting recently and I went to I think around three or four different thrift stores and I want to talk a little bit about how the prices are so appalling on some of the items. I do want to be very clear that not every single item was priced high but some things are just getting so out of hand when it comes to the prices that it's making me wonder if like thrift stores are going to continue to be something that we can go to in order to save money. In my area I do have stores that are pretty good on pricing but then the majority of them are getting more and more expensive it seems every time I go. This green container that you just seen had four dollars on it and it was actually broken so just stuff like that Thrifting was originally done so that people who did not have a really big budget or who live on a really low income could afford to go out and get things that they need and want for their lives and their homes. And now that seems to be disappearing and instead it's becoming a way for thrift stores to make larger profits. These pictures here were $17 a piece. And I can just imagine um, someone going in here and wanting to get some decor for their home and a picture like this may be really out of their budget if you were to go to say Pottery Barn or Anthropology or sometimes even your regular stores like Walmart. These should not be so much money that someone on a fixed income, a low income, poverty line income, it should not be to where they cannot afford those things. And I just think it's really sad that that is what thrifting is turning into. But I do still find some good deals at thrift stores. It just depends. I do believe that there are multiple people doing the prices. Some people are putting them at fair prices that I think they should be at. And then someone else is going in there and I think looking everything up online and trying to compete with the reseller market. And thrift stores get their items for free from people that have well-meaning intentions trying to help out other people. And it just bothers me that they think they should charge the prices that they do. At this thrift store that I am showing, they had crystal pieces and glass pieces that they were charging a lot of money for. They even marked what the cost was on eBay versus their cost. And in my opinion, I do not care if it costs $50 on eBay. Regardless of that, you were given these items to help other people out and you should be giving them at a good price regardless of what people do with them later on. Since I am done griping now, <laughs> I decided on this day that I was just tired of the thrift stores after seeing some of those outrageous prices. So I went over to one of my local flea markets and I looked through uh, several of their booths and um, I found a few things, not a whole lot on this day, but just some interesting pieces to look at and I wanted to share that with you all. Just pieces that I found interesting. Um, some things were just out of my price range, like this picture was beautiful, that big one, but it was like $70. So that is, that's not in my budget right now, but it was a really beautiful picture. And anyways, I'm just going to share some interesting things that I seen with you all and just let you watch it.
was commenting recently back and forth with one of you about oil lamps. You know who you are. I didn't want to put your name on here in case you didn't want it out here on a video. So, but we were talking about oil lamps and I did find one. So I wanted to show you since we were talking about it recently. Okay, y'all, so now we are on to the haul portion of today's video, and I am very excited to share what I got, so let's just get right into it. We will start with this set of doilies. Um, I got five of them for $2, I believe. They are a creamy white lace color, and I have been looking for these because they are so great to put underneath all your things and just to add you know a little bit something extra on your tables so got those in a set of five and then from the thrift store you see me show this in the thrift portion um i got this napkin holder it has this little um kind of like a corn design i guess on the front it was only 50 cents um and i actually don't have a napkin holder so if i do decide to host Thanksgiving this year. I'm not sure if I'm going to, but if I do, this will be really great for that. I also found this small container. I believe this was 50 cents, and then the bottom of it says Taiwan on it. And I was thinking about putting matches in here and then getting a match striker to put on the back. So this can be a little match holder. This piece was also thrifted. It is just a small little tray. Um, with like this kind of lace looking design on the edge and I got this to put my rings in. Um, I believe this was either 50 cents or a dollar so it was a really good price and I actually don't have one of these so I was very excited to find it for a place to throw all my jewelry. The next thing that I thrifted was this or is this a uh, decently large picture. It has the Lord's Prayer on it and it's in like a brass gold kind of color. I just thought this was so pretty. This was five dollars. Um, it's such good quality. I decided that five dollars was okay and I'm not gonna have to change anything about this because I really like the frame color and I love what it has on it of course because it has the Lord's Prayer. So I'm so excited to use this somewhere in my house. I then found this shelf. It is kind of a faded looking um, cream, but brass, I don't know, but it was $2.25. I thought that was a pretty good price for a shelf, so I was not upset at paying that. Um, and then it has two hangers on the back here so that it's easy to install. And I love this kind of Victorian design that it has at the bottom. I love that the Victorian look is kind of coming in. I have loved that style for a long time, even before it was popular, but the whole cottage slash Victorian look I'm realizing is something that I really have been going towards, and I love how that's going to look in my house, especially after I get the walls painted this coming fall. Now, these little pieces came from my favorite thrift store. It's actually the place where I donate everything because they have really affordable prices and it goes towards a battered women's shelter. So I love what they stand for and I love that they don't try to charge people insanely high prices for thrifted stuff. But it's these really heavy metal pieces. They were only 25 cents. And I don't know if these are a trivet or if they are a candle uh, holder. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I could probably use them for either thing, but they are extremely heavy. And so I thought 25 cents was a really great price for these. Then from that same thrift store, I got an actual trivet. This was $2 and everything at this thrift store on the day that I went was 20% off. So everything, so the $2 was 20% off. Um, but I think this is really pretty. It has a bird design on it. And a trivet is actually something that I needed for my kitchen. I used to have them before and after we moved, I don't, I don't know where stuff went. Some things disappeared. So I love how vintage this looks and I love this black color for the accent in my house. So I'm very excited to have this. And this one has a hanger on it. So I think someone had it hung on the wall, but I'm gonna use it for its actual purpose. I then found this very small little hanging decor piece. It has a vintage ad on it, I believe. I don't know if somebody made it, but it hangs from here at the top. It was very affordable. I believe it was also 50 cents from that same thrift store that I love so much. I can totally see this going somewhere with like a little vignette of a couple of other items, maybe on a gallery wall, I don't know. 
but I love this piece. It is so cute. I then found this thing here. Um, I guess it's like a little shelf or maybe like um, just a, something to add a little bit of charm or character to wherever you put something. Um, but it was only 50 cents. So again, a really good price. And then it has the little hanger on the back. And it's not that heavy, so I'm not going to have to worry about putting it on a stud or anything like that. It'll be simple to just use the usual things that I hang things with. Now, this is something that I have actually been hunting for. It is a hymnal book. It's a pretty old one. The thrift store that I got it from uh, had a, a whole bunch of other ones, but I just needed the one. Um, I grew up in an old country church for most of my life. So I really enjoy a lot of these older hymnal books. I grew up on all the hymns and I love how they sound. I was trying to see the year. Okay, so this is from 1938. So this one um, is a decently old one and I, I just cannot wait to use this. Um, a really sweet YouTuber that I found recently, her name is Our Home on Lawrence. Um, I'll link her channel below if you want to go check it out. Um, she did a room makeover recently and she took pages out of an old book and put it up on um, the wall where her fireplace mantle was. And I think it looks so, so good. So I thought I might go back and get some of the other hymnals that they had. I believe this was only 50 cents or a dollar. So if I go get some of those, I could actually use some of those uh, or some of the pages out of the hymnals to create some kind of neat little thing in my house. So I'm so thankful to her for sharing that idea because it's definitely in my head. I definitely want to use it somewhere in my home. Okay, so you've seen this one in the haul portion. It is also from a thrift store. It is a, it looks like it's pretty old. Um, I just really liked that it had horses on it. I love horses. Um, it does say Japan at the bottom. And I believe this was 25 or 50 cents, so it was a decent price for this. I then got this little basket. It's a more vintage looking gold color. I believe it's meant for a candle, or I guess I could put flowers or something in here, but I just loved the color and I liked this flower design here that it has. And then of course, as per usual, I got books. I love decorating with books and I just love how they look, period. I, I just adore books. But anyways, I got this one. So I got this one here. It just looks plain, but what I really liked was on the side, the writing was just really pretty. Um, I don't know, I just thought this like fancy looking stuff here was kind of nice and it'll look great on a shelf to use for decorating. It's called Scruples by Judith Krantz, or Krantz, I'm not sure. Um, it says 1978, so it's not, it's not super old, but it's a, you know, a decent age for a book. I then found this one, which I just think is so pretty. Look at the colors and the writing on this. Oh, I love everything about this book. This one is called The Life of Richard Wagner um, by Alfred A. Knopf. Knopf? Knopf? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, Richard Wagner sounds kind of familiar. I'll probably have to Google him and see um, who he was. Um, apparently, this is Wagner in 1860. So you could even uh, use those pictures if you wanted um, to put in a frame or something. Here's another kind of older looking picture. Um, so that's an idea too. I could also use those to put inside of a frame. And then I found this one. It is a book by Mary Higgins Clark. It is, I think it says two, two little girls in blue. But I got this one with the intention of using it in my guest room. I am doing um, some accents of pink in my guest room. So every time I find something pink that I like, I do grab that for when I get to be able to decorate my guest room. Now we're moving on to the things that I purchased from the flea market. So as I'm sure you know, flea market prices are gonna be a little bit more because the people have already went and found all these things. They've cleaned them up. They've kind of curated their little booths to have certain things. So I don't get as much at flea markets. I am uh, particular about the prices, but um, I'm okay with paying a little bit more because I do know that somebody is trying to make a profit off of these. So I first found this little planter pot. It was $12.99. Um, it's a decent size and it has this little hook on the side. Um, and then the bottom of it says McCoy. And I do believe that I've heard somewhere that like some of the McCoy stuff is collectible. Um, I don't really know a lot about it. It just, 
somewhere in the back of my mind. I think I've heard it before, but I'm just excited to use it for a planter or maybe a floral arrangement here in it. And then I am a huge fan of elephants, so I found this little elephant trinket thing. I'm not sure what this is for. This is what the back of it looks like. Um, I don't know if it's meant to just set up somewhere or if it has a purpose, but either way, I really love it. It's a gold elephant, and this was really affordable. I think it was like $2, so not bad at all. And then um, I got this for my husband's office. It's just a picture frame that has an eagle on it. This was $6.99, um, and he was with me that day, and he actually said he loved this. So got this for his office, and then we found um, a set of, well, there's a whole bunch of them, but we got three of these books. They say Arkansas Reports. This one's for $19.30, and I just think they're beautiful. So this is going to go in my husband's office as well, probably, but we got a total of three of them. Um, whenever I am pairing things, I like it to do in sets of three a lot of the time. I'm not sure why. I just prefer, I just prefer threes a lot. So maybe because three is my favorite number. But anyways, I got those. And then the last piece is probably one of my favorite finds that I found. It is this wooden um, basket. It's not wicker, I guess, or maybe it is. I don't know. But anyways, this was $15. And I feel like that is a decent price for a basket, especially one this big. I'm thinking about using it somewhere in my living room just to put like blankets in or extra pillows or stuff like that. You can always use baskets for organization and I love organizing because it just makes your home feel so much less cluttered. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so that is everything that I have to share with you today. Um, coming up soon, I am going to be sharing an estate sale haul. I went to an estate sale recently. It, the prices were so good. I found an, some amazing pieces. I can't wait to share them. So if you would like to subscribe, I will be sharing that with all of you here soon. I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye.